<laughs> two dimensional or 2D shapes are flat. They are called two dimensional because they only have two dimensions length and width. Shapes have certain features that help us work out exactly what type of shape they are. These features include sides and corners. We get different kinds of shapes depending on how many sides and corners they have. But what are sides and corners? A straight line in a 2D shape is called a side. A corner is where two sides meet. A corner can also be called a vertex. Did you know that there is a family of shapes called quadrilaterals? Quad means four, so this means the quadrilateral family is made up of all those shapes that have four sides and four corners. But each quadrilateral shape has small differences that make them unique from each other. Let's have a look at these quadrilateral shapes. This is a square. Here are its four sides. and its four corners. Each side of a square is the same length as the other sides. The square also has sides that are parallel. What does parallel mean? If two sides are parallel, it means that they are always the same distance from each other and will never touch. This shape is a rectangle. Can you see its four sides and four corners? Rectangles have two pairs of sides that are the same length and opposite to each other. These sides are also parallel. This interesting shape is called a rhombus. It can also be called a diamond. A rhombus looks like a square that's leaning to the side, doesn't it? Here are its four sides and its four corners. Each side is the same length. The rhombus has its opposite sides parallel too. If you've ever flown a kite before, this shape might look very familiar to you. The name of this shape is, you guessed it, a kite. It still has four sides and four corners and has two pairs of sides that are the same length. An interesting fact about kites is that they can never have parallel sides. Can you see how the shape of a kite is different from a rhombus? Remember, all four sides of a rhombus are the same length. While a kite has two pairs of sides and each pair has the same length. Now that we've had a look at the quadrilateral family, let's introduce some other shapes that are a little different. This is a triangle. All triangles have three sides and three corners. This is easy to remember because tri means three. A circle is a round shape formed by a curved line, where any point on this line is always the same distance from the center. Circles have no corners and no sides. There are many, many different types of shapes. These are just a few of them. 
Can you spot any of these two-dimensional shapes around your classroom? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs>